Mark James and Bryn Parry Jones are the two council chief executives who have received cash in lieu of employer pension contributions. The aim was to avoid paying tax and according to the Wales Audit Office, the payments were unlawful. I would very much like the councils to, to recognise that the, they made mistakes and I think they have to a certain extent, uh, where necessary to rescind the decisions that are still outstanding and if they want to take lawful decisions in future, follow the proper process and take proper full legal advice. Since 2012, Carmarthenshire Council has paid more than £27,000 to Mark James instead of contributing money towards his local government pension. The council scrapped the policy in December when the Audit Office's investigation began. A separate report concludes Carmarthenshire's decision to grant Mr James indemnity in his legal battle with a local blogger was also unlawful because it was beyond the council's powers. The local authority has paid out more than £26,000 in legal costs to help its chief executive. The council said it would consider the reports in due course, but in the meantime Mr James is facing calls to step down and this morning the issue was raised in the Commons. Can we have a statement from the Treasury about guidance issued to public bodies across the British state about the moral obligation of senior public officials to pay their due tax and penalties for non-compliance? <laughs> Well, I've seen the, uh, what the Welsh um, um, Audit Office have had to say and about the lawfulness of, of those particular payments. So, in that sense, uh, I hope they would be ex uh, exceptional rather than typical. In Pembrokeshire's case, it's expected that by the end of March, more than £51,000 will have been paid to Bryn Parry Jones and another senior officer in lieu of pension contributions. Pembrokeshire Council also says it will consider the report in due course. We as, a, as an opposition and as a Labour group uh, will be retabling our special meeting request from November which calls for the Chief Executive to be immediately suspended, an investigation to be a, a panel to be established led by an independent person to get to the bottom of exactly how this happened and, and absolutely I think you know if the findings are as the Audit Office findings, disciplinary action is inevitable. In the past, both councils have refused to accept the pay supplements are unlawful. The Audit Office says it's up to the councils to decide if they ask the senior officers to pay the money back. Meanwhile, Dyved Powys Police said the force was in discussions with the Audit Office.